Last time you came to Australia, you had a few problems. Uh, do you think you're going to run into trouble this time? Um, I don't think so. Um, I've come dressed for the occasion. And uh, um, no, I can't foresee any problems this time. No. I hope not. Uh, was your tour in Japan really successful? Yeah, we did 11 concerts there, which is quite a lot for Japan. We played everywhere, Fukuoka, Hiro Hiroshima, and places like that. It was uh, really successful. We couldn't wait to get here, though, because we'd been talking to ourselves for two and a half weeks. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> understands us over there. <laughs> Are you singing a lot of new material now? Um, not a lot, because um, we do one or two new songs on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the show. But because the album won't be out until July, it's very hard to play new songs. And not get, by the time you, the album came out, you'd be fed up with them already. So you had to be very careful like that. You said in your Rolling Stone interview some time ago <laughs> that you uh, want, very much wanted to make a movie. Do you still have plans in that direction? I'd like to. It's just finding the time and finding the person and finding the person to do it, the director, and finding the script. And I've been offered like parts in Tommy and things like that, but I'm not interested. You know, really. I, I, I don't particularly want to do a musical. Uh, it would be a bit obvious. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit shown in England. I don't know if it's a bit shown. It's a little grey, isn't it? So probably it'll end up like 89 channels. <laughs> Have you got a new album? Uh, no, there's, well, Goodbye Eric Rose, the latest one, but we just finished one in uh, the America in January, which uh, we have to go back to. No idea what the album's called yet. Because we don't know the tracks that are going on. God, it looks like I don't really have one major influence. I like sort of I like black music a lot, and uh, I like, well, I like country music a lot. Not well, country sort of rock music, and I, I like it's all sorts of music. You know, I, if, if I had to choose anybody that I'd rather be than me, I'd probably choose Mick Jagger. But uh, that's just because. Uh, I mean, he's got it all, you know. So, um, but, uh, you know, the Stones are probably my favourite group, but, I, I mean, they haven't influenced me really more than anybody else. I just listen, listen to a lot of records and get influenced by that. I think everybody who writes songs gets influenced by the people. During that Rolling Stone interview, you had some fairly startling things to say about people like uh, Chuck Berry and uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Did you get any... F uh, shall we say a reaction to that? To I, those comments? I saw Chuck Berry on a plane the other day and I thought he was going to knife me and uh, <laughs> he just kept smiling at me and I thought, oh, well, he couldn't have read Rolling Stone. No, I, you see, I really love those people. It sort of got misconstrued a bit. Um, it's just that um, when I've seen them recently, it's, it's like Chuck Berry never has a permanent band, which he should have, a really good band. He just picks up a band and says, right, let's go, no rehearsal. And it's just, I find it sad because those people are like the kings of rock and roll. And I saw Jerry Lewis, and he wasn't, you know, he could have killed the audience, but he didn't bother, you know. And I was so frustrated because he is the best rock and roll pianist ever. So I just got very frustrated at them because they don't seem to, you know, it seems after all that time they don't bother anymore, which is sad. Are you yourself getting any closer to uh, recording any of your own material? Uh, what, lyric wise? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> it still comes out as. Uh, I'm in love with you in June, and the stars are shining. I've tried, you know, but um, it'll come one day, about 1989 or something. I, I just leave it up to Bernie. When you've got sort of lyrics like that, I mean, I'd love to write lyrics like someone like Joni Mitchell, but she's she's very personal in her songs, and uh, it's very, I mean, you've got to be really clever to write lyrics like that. <laughs>